I'm here with an apology from Senator George Akume of ina inability to be here with you. I said I should just pass a few words to you. And I just stated. I'm glad to be here with you as these sons and daughters meet and have traveled all over the world to discuss issues of mutual interest. I'm happy that you have chosen a theme that is current and is very vital to the shaping the collective future of the two people in, in Nigeria and all over the world. The state today is full of disunity in the tribe, the communal conflicts, banditry kidnapping, farmers' headmen conflicts, politics of bitterness, and all kinds of things. I wish to say that all these aspects of life are also common with other tribes in Bengal. Yet, at a particular point in time, they get united as a people in order to forge ahead. The consequences of this, at the end of the day, is the fact that we are disunited, we are disconnected at the federal level. Indeed, most of the time, when it's possible and obvious that a chief son or daughter gets a position, they infight it between themselves, especially positions at the, at the federal level, makes it increasingly very difficult. The issue of the Fulani crisis is worrisome. I share this with two people and I've considered to say that I am prepared to participate in any forum, in any position of the two people in order to address this crisis and bring it to a final point. Must, however, continue to critically look at the criminal elements amongst us that are part of this. So that at the end of the day, these problems, when addressed, will be addressed completely. On the current plan for restructuring, we need to ask ourselves as T people, where will the T people of Nigeria be? if Nigeria breaks up today, where we will look at a better deal? Is it with the east, with the north, or the west? Or is it possible that the two people can cooperate within the Middle West in order to have a Middle West state? These are questions that are more difficult to answer than to imagine, but we need to look at them quickly. For me, with my appointment as minister, I hope all is not lost and that two people who must cooperate beyond party lines in order to achieve the love for our people. What is clear is that most groups are not happy with sharing of power and resources at the center. The insecurity situation has traumatized virtually all citizens of the country. Corruption and mismanagement of funds have made greater the greater number of citizens unhappy, the quality of leadership and its disposition to self-seeking interests with upright desire for life and welfare of the system have worsened. These are the issues that have worried, are worrying people and the clamor for restructuring have continued to have louder and louder presence. <coughs> Finally, the two people, the two as a people must have an agenda that agenda can only be projected, sustained. If they have leaders, they can accept their weaknesses. Everybody has a weaknesses. But if we have to move on, if we have to move on, we must take the positive elements of our leaders more and less and, and, and seek to emphasize less their weaknesses. We must learn in a hard way to accept our leaders, especially those whose positive attributes outweigh their negative ones. The people who must seek the way that other groups 
and blocks are fighting for their regional and geographic interests. The TPU must make efforts to enthrone and accept a leadership that can lead them to catch up with others in Nigeria today. Thank you and God bless all of you.